This is what's left of a house in Lenexa after an overnight fire. Huge flames destroyed most of the roof and left the rest of the house in shambles. One person is seriously hurt tonight as investigators search for the cause. Rudy Harper talked to the homeowner about the terrifying ordeal in an interview you'll see only on five. The homeowner says it was a nightmare. He watched in disbelief as his home was engulfed in flames. Several people were inside. Most of them got out safely. But the homeowner says one of the victims of the fire is in the intensive care unit tonight. Cell phone video from a neighbor shows some of the chaos. She's yelling at me, Don, fire, Don, fire. Homeowner Don Rogers alerted to the blaze by his wife just before 1 o'clock this morning. He and seven others, including his grandchildren, escaped as flames and heavy smoke engulfed the home. It blew through the windows and was in the living room, and it was burning all the furniture and everything around it. They lost their home, but even worse, a family friend who was staying with them overnight is in critical condition. A 72-year-old friend was rescued by a neighbor and Roger's son-in-law. They were carrying him out in the yard, and um, I went and looked at him and I was concerned that he was he wasn't alive. I hope I don't lose him. He suffered serious burns to his body. In total, five people inside the home went to the emergency room. Rogers says it's unclear how the fire started. There's a gas fireplace. We had had that on, but we had turned it off when we went to bed. He also says some of the sentimental items in the wreckage can't be replaced. That's a little bothersome. Uh, but we've been reminded all day it's just things. The family says they had working smoke detectors. Everything you see here tonight must stay in place. An insurance adjuster will be here tomorrow. The family for now staying with friends. In Lenexa, Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News.